I'm thrilled to follow my friend, Harry Etlinger. And Harry, I agree with the director. Your brain is working just fine, uh, uh, especially with all the history that you have gone through. Uh, Harry is a marvel and a true testament to the greatest generation. And as time ticks by 70 years uh, next month since D-Day, sadly, there are fewer and fewer World War II veterans. But Harry continues to amaze. I think he can still run circles around most of us. We gather here not just to recognize his service and the other men and women being honored here today, but also those who defended our nation who cannot. This Memorial Day once again finds New Jerseyans serving in uniform thousands of miles from home and family. They are New Jersey proud and New Jersey strong. And they have our thanks, our prayers, and our support. And we salute them. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. They did not shrink from that responsibility. They welcomed it. Their names are our names. Some are familiar, some we cannot pronounce, but with every name on every stone and every memorial, at every battlefield, and in every veteran's resting place is a personal story of sacrifice, stories of heroes, and those who loved them and who gave them comfort. Abraham Lincoln once said, honor to the soldier and sailor everywhere who bravely bears his country's cause. Honor also to the citizen who cares for his brother in the field and serves as best they can the same cause. We honor our military men and women by keeping our promise that we might say, we have served the same cause in service to them and therefore to our nation. So as we stand here in historic Morristown to celebrate Memorial Day, there are some heroes who, after many years, have finally received the recognition they deserve. The Monuments Men are among them. 350 men and women from 13 countries, including our own Harry Etlinger of Rockaway. He is New Jersey's surviving Monuments Man, a hero, a member of the greatest generation, a German Jew whose family fled to the United States to escape the Nazis, and one of the last living Monuments Men. I'm pleased to announce that just this week, Congress passed my legislation to honor Harry and the rest of the Monuments Men with a Congressional Gold Medal for what they did to save the world's cultural artifacts from being destroyed and lost forever. In 1943, President Roosevelt had the good sense to establish the Roberts Commission to help General Eisenhower's army protect cultural works in allied occupied areas, and the Monuments Men were formed. They went to work, and they did their duty. They recovered and protected, among other precious works, Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, Michelangelo's David, and countless other paintings and artifacts that had been plundered by the Nazi army. Our friend Harry Etlinger and the 349 other Monuments Men are truly heroes who did their duty and saved our cultural heritage. And now they will be honored by the United States Congress. We owe them our thanks, and the world owes them a debt of gratitude. I'm proud to have worked with my Republican colleague, Senator Blunt, to pass the bipartisan legislation that honors these heroes with a congressional gold medal, presented to those, and I quote, who have performed an achievement that has an impact on American history and culture that is likely to be recognized long after that achievement. The Monuments Men certainly impacted history and culture and acts of heroism and will long be remembered. For doing so, they have decidedly earned the congressional gold medal. We also salute Sean and Brandon, Kimberly, Charles, Eric, Luis, Frank, Mario, Timothy, Dwight, and Ron. All of you deserve our debt of gratitude for your valiant service. And at this time, I'd like to present to Harry a, what we call a gold line copy of the legislation that the President is signing into law uh, on behalf of the Monuments Men, a flag that I have had flown over the capital of the United States in recognition of your service. And I also have, uh, for when the freeholders do their presentations, a flag phone for each and every one of our veterans today in honor of a grateful nation. Thank you very much.